Hi guys, myself Vijay Tawadhan. A warm greetings for the day. So today we are going to discuss on a topic called as projection of straight line. Now what is called as a straight line? A straight line is defined as the shortest distance between two points. Now what does a line do consists of? A straight line do consists of a two end points which is shown here like A and B and which have its own length as a geometrical property along with its angle. So these are the properties which are present in a straight line. Now according to the syllabus we are supposed to discuss this projection of straight line only with respect to the first quadrant. Henceforth in this particular figure we have representing the first quadrant according to the first quadrant the object must be kept above HP and as well as in front of VP. Henceforth, the object will be kept like this. Now, one end of a line is going to be named as A, another end of a line is going to be named as B. Now, how to do these projections? Now, to do these projections, the line can be kept in various different positions. Now, out of which we are going to discuss the first condition that is called as when a line is parallel to both the planes. What is the meaning of both the planes? Both the principal planes. Which are the principal planes? Vertical plane and horizontal plane are the two principal planes we are going to consider in this particular topic. Now, you can observe that or one can observe that the line AB is held in parallel to vertical plane and parallel to horizontal plane. This is the condition when the line is parallel to both the planes. A line is parallel to VP as well as HP. Now according to the orthographic projection, the observer has to come in such a way that the point A should be seen perpendicular to the vertical plane and then the rays are going to be generated to locate the point A dash. And similarly, from the front, he has to observe the point B so that the B dash is going to be projected. And then A dash to B dash line is going to be joined by which we are going to get the front view. Now in the same fashion if an observer has to see the top view from this location observer has to be shifted to the top and once again make sure that the orthographic rays are going to be generated from point A and it is going to be projected on a horizontal plane A. Then in the same fashion the observer has to shift his location to make sure that the B projector is going to be drawn on the horizontal plane. The moment the A and B has been located, now the line has to be joined. Now if you observe this line, the line AB as well as the line A dash B dash are the projectors of or the projections of line AB in top and front views respectively. And if you observe the XY line, these lines are parallel to each other. Now, whatever the length of a line is there, the same length is going to be produced on both the views. And these views, we call it as true length of a line. Now, one can observe here, when the observer will come back to its original position, observer cannot able to see the top view. Henceforth, the horizontal plane is going to be rotated in 90 degree clockwise direction. Now, the moment we are going to rotate about 90 degree clockwise direction, this is how the actual projection are going to be viewed. But in the booklets or in a piece of paper, one can draw an XY line and then locate the position of A dash at a given height that is above HP whatever the distance will be given we have to write it and then locate a point A dash and with the true length draw a line A dash to B dash which is parallel to XY line. In the same fashion draw the projector of A dash that is A dash is going to be projected to get the point A. Now this A projector will be drawn at a given distance whatever the distance is given as in front of VP. And then by considering that we are going to draw the true length of line AB. Now this is how we are going to do the projection of a straight line when the condition is the line is parallel to both the planes. 
then we are going to discuss the next one more condition what is one more condition the one more condition will be like this when a line is parallel to one and perpendicular to other now here we can consider the two different conditions sub conditions uh, which are they when line is parallel to vertical plane and perpendicular to HP now you can see parallel to VP is going to serve as parallel to one and perpendicular to HP is going to serve as perpendicular to other now this is how the line is going to be held in the first quadrant the object will be above horizontal plane and in front of vertical plane the top end is taken as point A the top bottom end is taken as B now similar to the previous condition we are going to complete the orthographic projections where the front view is going to look like a straight line but however from the top if the observer is going to look at from the top he can able to see the point is going to be projected on a horizontal plane because the line is held perpendicular when the line is held perpendicular the line will become a point henceforth both the points are projected on the same line now one can observe the line a sorry the point a is without bracket and b is inside the bracket because when the observer is seen from the top he can able to see point a and the person cannot able to see point b henceforth b will be taken as invisible point according to this figure now again observer will come back to its original position but observer are not able to see the actual views in both the planes at a time simultaneously henceforth what an observer has to do observer has to rotate the horizontal plane about 90 degree as shown in figure line 2a2 then this is the final figure what we are going to get it as line 2a3 this is for an understanding purpose once this has been understood clearly one can draw the xy line and vphp stating the quadrant then the condition that the true length of a line will be given to us according to the true length of a line we are supposed to draw a vertical line like this at a given distance that is above hp whatever the distance is given then we have to draw the line ab and that projector will be connected to the top view and we are going to complete the projections this is how we are going to complete this condition now we have one more sub condition what is the sub condition when a line is parallel to one plane and perpendicular to other with respect to parallel to vp we have discussed and perpendicular to hp we have discussed in this condition when a line is parallel to hp and perpendicular to vp exactly vice versa to the previous condition now according to this how we are going to draw a line is held perpendicular to vertical plane and parallel to horizontal plane the both top and front views are going to be generated here the front view is going to be a point because the line is perpendicular to vp and on hp the line is going to be drawn as a straight line because it is parallel to hp then again as we told discussed we are supposed to rotate the horizontal plane about 90 degree then uh, the line 2b3 is the actual projection how we are going to see it and after this rotation one can observe that the projection how we are supposed to draw it is exactly as opposite of the previous condition where the top view is going to be generated and the front view is going to be generated here the front view is a dot whereas top view is a straight line which consists of a true length and also remember when a line is held parallel to any of the principal plane on the principal plane whatever may be the view which could be generated that view will be always called as true length now here when a line is held parallel then only we will get the true length this is the condition should be remembered by us next we have one more condition when a line is parallel to one and inclined to other now here also when a line is parallel to one and inclined to other means again two sub condition will be there as discussed in the line is parallel to one and perpendicular to other now let us discuss those two conditions when a line is parallel to vp and inclined to hp how it is going to look like it is going to look like like this now you can see the straight line ab the same condition will be there the straight line ab is 
inclined to HP and parallel to VP according to the given condition. The line A and B is having the parallelism that's why this is what the parallelism one can see the A dash and B dash. But A dash and B dash is not going to be parallel to XY line but it stop you when it is going to be projected it is parallel to xy line why the top view is parallel to xy line why the front view is not parallel to xy line because the straight line is inclined to hp when it is inclined to hp and parallel to vp the top view will be a horizontal line or a line parallel to xy line but whereas in case of front view the line is not parallel to hp henceforth it is inclined and this inclination whatever we are going to get it here this inclination is projected here and this angle is represented by angle theta and theta is called as the true inclination of a straight line then again the observer will come back to its original position to see the front and top views but unfortunately the top view cannot be seen properly henceforth once again the horizontal plane has to be rotated 90 degree and then this is how one can understand the final projection the final projection will be like this a dash to b dash how to draw this the condition of what is the height in above the hp will be given and in front of vp it will be given now draw the point over here and then construct a line keep the protractor and whatever the given angle is there with respect to that angle one has to draw the inclined angle with respect to its true length but when we are seeing from the top now you can see a dash is going to be projected here and b dash is going to be projected here but the length of a dash b dash is going to be the true length but the length of a b is not going to be the true length why it is not going to be the true length because this line is inclined to HP now whatever the line we are going to see it on the top view that is called as top view length that we also call it as apparent length because it is not the original length of a line it is a decreased length that decreased length at this given angle theta we call it as top view length which can be abbreviated as TVL now there is a note if a line is inclined at an angle theta to HP true angle and parallel to VP then its front view gives us the true length whereas top view gives us the apparent length that is what I have mentioned that is called a top view length. Then if a line is tilted at any angle to VP and maintaining the angle theta to HP as a constant then the height B dash and a dash as fixed from above hp which is being traced as a locus hence the top view length remains as constant and how this locus is going to be generated we are going to discuss in the next lecture now here in this lecture we will continue one more remaining condition of this that is when a line is parallel to one and inclined to other we have made it parallel to vp and inclined to HP in the previous condition. Now in this condition it is parallel to HP and inclined to VP. Now here you can see the line is inclined to VP at an angle phi and this angle is also called as true angle whereas theta is the true angle made with respect to HP angle phi is the true angle made with respect to VP. Next the top view is going to be projected like this and the front view is going to be projected like this. And after getting the projections, one has to rotate the horizontal plane about 90 degree. Then finally, this is the one view what we are going to get it. Now, after getting this view, now one can observe according to the first quadrant we are supposed to draw it. Now, in the previous condition, we have taken the A dash as a reference and we have constructed a reference line here. Then we have drawn a given inclination. Now, in the same fashion, in front of VP whatever the distance is given we have to consider then draw a construction line then consider the angle phi and then one has to rotate uh, sorry one has to draw, draw the true length at a given angle now once we draw the true length here now the true length will be drawn here after drawing a true length then we are supposed to draw the front view how to draw the front view now whatever the distance above HP it will be given 
that we are going to draw it here once we have drawn this line and after drawing the line what we are supposed to do is locate the point a dash as well as b dash now one can observe the true length in the top view is measuring but whereas in the front view it is not a true length because it is inclined to vp at an angle phi one can observe in this figure it is inclined to vp at an angle phi henceforth the front view is going to be a shorter length the top view is going to be a true length the shorter length we call it as an apparent length which is nothing but front view length which can be abbreviated as fvel now again the same note is represented here and as well as the traced as a locus that we are going to discuss in the next video lecture thank you guys and if you have any doubts in regard to it you can call me at this number but make sure that don't call me at late nights thank you guys thanks for watching this video and please make sure that subscribe to my channel